YouTube, this is Uncle Momo's music reaction channel where I provide my views on talented artists who have low subscribers and low views, as well as talented artists from around the world. Now, once again, I have no idea or the reason why they have low subscribers or low views, but I'm going to bring it to the forefront of my channel for us to view. Now, today I'm going to do my best to upload about three reactions and I will let you know on these particular artists as I'm going along. So my first reaction of today is going to be Chris Stapleton with uh, It's a Man's World. Now, I've heard this so many times in various different kind of covers, but I have not heard a, a man with a calibre of what a Chris Stapleton is about. I really haven't. I was blown apart when I reacted to Tennessee Whiskey, and I'm sure that I'm going to be blown apart by this live performance of It's a Man's World. I... <sighs> You look, you know how I feel about James Brown. So just to hear somebody to do something like that, where I believe has that kind of um, coming from the same kind of, um, not saying the same kind of grassroots, but being fed with the same food. If you understand what I'm saying, you know, got same fed with the same food. If you understand what I'm getting, just what I'm saying, then I don't need to go any further than that. So, but I'm so excited anyway. So that's going to be my first reaction of today. But before that, if this is your first time coming over to my channel, then please go over to my homepage and work your way from the bottom all the way up to the top because there's some fantastic, amazing artists which I do not want you to miss out on. And I've broken it down into various categories. So once you go into those various categories, just Remember, these are artists from around the world, both established and non-established artists. And I know that you would enjoy my channel. So just in utilize my channel to the full. Right, before I go into my first reaction, I want to give a number of shout outs and read a couple of your messages. So, um, Dwayne Hawkins, thank you very much for gracing your presence on my channel. And thank you very much for your amazing message regarding the four, um, fourth impact. I'll certainly see you um, um, tomorrow. Um, well, I think at Day actually, um, so I'll speak to you later, regardless on the um, live stream. Um, Guato Chefs, good morning, how you doing, mate? Um, Alim Hassan, um, it's probably um, Kashmir, just adding the A and I in that. Thank you very much for that. That was the um, Amal Malik um, track, please check that song out. Um, it's called Echo. Um, all, all in one, good morning, how you doing? Zach, how you doing, mate? Thank you very much for your message. I hope you're well. See you soon. Um, Amira Del Camario Otto um, Kalis. Well, that was a mouthful. It goes, please react to the movie, mu music. Please react to more movie music video songs. I still said it wrong. I'm going to try again. Please react to more movie video songs. There you go. I don't know. Um, Mike, like, you need... I think you need to be changing the little bit. I don't think I do. I, I like that. <laughs> um, Seth Moran, good morning. Thank you very much. And thank you very much for um, congratulating me of hitting 1 million views. It's been absolutely amazing. So thank you very much for that. Um, Sobra, how you doing, mate? Um, Sobra, brada757. Thank you very much for all the emojis. And Norkan, how you doing, mate? You're right. Right, look, I'm going to go straight into my first reaction of today. There will be more shout outs and me reading a number of your recommend um, of your comments because they are actually amazing and remember if you like me to give you a shout out or indeed read any of your comments it's simple leave me a comment <laughs> i can't say any further than that right let's go on to it now chris stapleton it's your turn ah oh, i can't wait i really can't wait you know what we're here for great vocabs and a damn good video audio music can you dig it <laughs> nothing beats a live performance in a small capacity and get music like that You know the original James Brown, and when he did that, it sent chills down your spine and bone, and that noise just resonated across the whole um, planet, you know, or at the whole concert, or wherever he is. And he just commanded and demanded attention when that is on there. He, everybody was fixated on the the uh, 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 on him. 
and nobody hasn't really been even close to even being repetitive on that on that kind of demand when they're singing that particular song. Many people have tried, many, 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 many people, but only a few, and I'm talking about, you can count them on one hand, has delivered something that's even remotely close to what uh, James Brown um, ha has done. And I believe just even us watching that, just to have that kind of tone of voice and that grisly feel and what he's doing, yeah, he's coming close. I'm going to go back just a little bit, just a little bit. You know the crowd, look at the crowd is enjoying themselves. Not looking at the crowd, but you can hear them. Also, just by listening to this, it reminds me of, you know, when you listen to the original James Brown and you've got some really good set of speakers and a good set of amp and a good fine and a brandy or some sort and you listen to that and it's just filled that that song just never will never ever get old it will always be forever young it really really is and when you've got amazing artists like chris um stapleton um re rebirthing these songs it just makes it sound even more new and more sweeter than than before you know it and and uh, with the great artists singing the song it just re it just kind of energizes the original song. It really does. I'm gonna go back just a little bit, just a little bit. Has he only got that one hat? That out. Is there's only few people that's got that kind of has you know like the Rod Stewart um, vo um, husky voice. Um, the I can go on, but the the uniqueness comes from the style and how they use um, that voice, that vocals. They all even though they all got the husky voice, and you can name a few. I, I know um, you can easily tell them apart by the soul that's inside them um, and and how they portray it out and it's so clear to see that chris stapleton when he does it he really stands above the, the, the a lot of them <laughs> he really really does and and the not only that the body expressions as well i don't know if people are focused on the on these kind of things um because when you hear his voice it almost demands you to close your eyes, and so he puts you in some in a different kind of place when you're hearing his when you're hearing his voice. Um, so it's kind of a battle of seeing him and watching him, and forcibly not to close your eyes to feel it even more. But it, it, it resonates and it hits you in so many different kind of ways. It really does. <laughs> it's, uh, it's mad. I'm going to come back just a little bit, just a little bit. I'm sorry. <laughs> Would you love to be there? Such a different array of musicians. about his performance the way how he comes away from the microphone it's almost like the microphone's on fire and he doesn't want to go too close to it and when he's there when he says it when he gives his deliverance he goes you know pulls away like that or pulls away like that he's just feeling that he's not he sees the microphone he knows the microphone he has to sing in it yeah okay fine but see the way how he dances around with the microphone um but also giving that same kind of quality powerful sound and deliverance 
Not a lot of people can do that. If you go away from the microphone and you haven't got that power and the deliverance uh, or that je ne sais quoi, you're going to be, it's, gonna not, it's not going to be delivered the way how, it was, how, it, how you want it to be. But look at the way how he's doing it. I'm going to go back just a little bit, just a little bit. Also, like I said before, to see the musicians, when I'm saying that there's a, a, a different array of musicians on there, which is really, really lovely. They, you've got the drummer who basically hasn't got no shirt on and he's got tattoos all over the shop. Um, and so he presumably he's like a heavy metal, I, I presume, you know, don't judge a book by his cover, certainly because he's doing this type of music, what he's doing right now, or back in the music, what he's doing right now. Um, and then you've got the, a, a traditional kind of bluesy kind of person with, the, I believe is the bass, I could be wrong, bass, who's got a waistcoat and a checkered kind of shirt. And then look at the, the pianist, he's got some kind of weird funky glasses. They're all, it's like, if you saw them on the street all in one and they said that they're in a group, you think like, you try and to figure out what kind of style of music do, would you are you playing? You would never guess that this is the style of music of the playing. So I love that um, an awareness. I I love that um, the unpredictableness of who he puts on to. Because I, I don't believe he has the uh, his regular musicians. I don't. I think it's it's different than far and few between. Correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, but I like his selection of choices of musicians. And just based upon their appearance, um, I know he, he's based upon you know the, the way how they play, but I'm looking at the way how they uh, based upon their appearance and see how far wide um, they are apart, but how brilliant they come when they when they are when they are together. Um, I'm going to go back just a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> come on, look. And look what he's doing, look at the guitar that he's doing. Sorry, I'm just going to go back just a little bit, just a little bit. I want to need to see this from again, the way how he walks up to them. And look, there's bloody, how many guitars do you want on the stage? But I'll see what they're doing with it. <laughs> this is brilliant. I'm going to say it from there. Look at this Jimi Hendrix kind of fella. I'm not him, I thought he was playing. <laughs> and look at that said that the guy with the, sorry, he's got black glasses on. With a tiger, what's he really? You would never, no, you would, you would never not expect Chris Stapleton not to have a voice like the way how he is by just by looking at his appearance. You expect him to have that kind of a duck, you know, that grizzly kind of tone because it suits his hair, it suits his hat, it suits his beard, it suits his weight, it suits his appearance, it suits his boldness, it suits, you know, he's very buxom with it. It really is. And I'm just looking at it. This is, remember, this is my second um, reaction of, um, of Chris Stapleton. Um, and I'm sure there's going to be uh, more to many to come. Um, but he's been dazzling me regarding my perception of um, who he is. Uh, not the style of music, what he plays, but, not, but the style of music comes into it because 
when you picture the style of music he, he, he plays, you're, only, you're picturing the musicians that surround him and the, that kind of, you know, and you put him in that kind of, I certainly did. When it comes to blues, you know, it's either somebody smoking a cigarette, c cigar or cigarette, um, whiskey or brandy, you know, that kind of, or, you know, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but he's like a modern, he's bringing a different kind of new era into this into thing, even though he's been around for ages. Um, I just wonder, has he changed anything in any kind of way from when he was first performing, first out there, to where he is right now? Um, so when he was, you know, when he's first uh, uh, making his appearance and, you know, his debut, was his musicians around him of that kind of bluesy nature uh, or that bluesy character, which you normally would associate? And as he's going on in, you know, to present time, he's given sort of like the younger generation a chance and he's letting them in. Um, it'd be interesting to see about that journey. So let me know about that. I'm going to go back just a little bit, just a little bit. Ah, oh, what? Stop at the end, sorry. So that was Chris Stapleton with It's a Man's World, live performance. I believe it was in a small venue, but with a very large stage. Because if you saw the metal guitarist there, you saw the piano or, you know, somebody playing the piano, the drums. And there was brass instruments as well, even though you didn't get to see them. But I presume that they were live anyway. And so he gave you that all-round performance, that aura that you... Uh, want to see in a concert or um but in a bluesy kind of i don't know i don't know where it was but it very it felt very um uh, it, it smelled it smelled it felt very very small you know in a, a um, enclosed kind of place and not a very wide it, it felt like no more than 100 people was there but the setup was absolutely amazing and very large. And he did give it justice within that, um, within that track. Certainly did. You, I think with that song, you can't be humble with that song. You've got to be, you've got to command that song. Because you're making a, you're making a bold statement, just as James Brown said. Um, very, I mean, if you look at it in this t day and age, um, when you could, if this song was um, sung out by somebody who's just, just came onto the scene, who just, just wrote this song, um, he would not get a very good welcome because of what the song stands for. Um, but in that time, in the James Brown era, when he sang that so song, with so much emotion and everything that was poured into that, you know, James Brown gave 2,000% in any kind of deliverance. You know that. And you've seen that so many times over and over again. So when he sang that song... Um, he made a, a complete dent in the world, which was kind of like backwards if you listen to the work, the lyrical contents of it. But even when a woman hears it and they feel it, then that's saying something. <laughs> you know, it could be a, you know, the, certain women will say, well, oh, you know, this song, you know, blah, 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 and, you know, all that kind of thing. But they can't deny the true talent and remarkable talent of what's poured into it. So when anybody that sings this song, they have to still mimic that kind of thing or take in what needs to be taken uh, and, and, you know, and draw something out to perform a... You can't just be, sing this song on the half of a whim. You really can't. And Chris didn't. And for that reason, I salute you. Absolutely amazing. Really is. Yeah. 